Hello everyone, my name is AppleGuy, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Super Mario RPG. In today's video, we're off to Land's End to chase down our next star. I think that'll be star number six. Yeah, it will be. You can check the bottom left right there. That'll be star number six, number six of seven. So let's see what we can do here. We're going to hop into this cannon and we're going to launch ourselves that away. Very good. Wow, that was an instant loading screen. Okay. So it looks like we've got these cannons to sort of play around with. We can shoot ourselves up or back. Or sorry, forward or back. Or up. Forward, up, or back. So let's go forward with this one. Oh, there we go. We we just unveiled a bunch of these enemies. Oh, block that. Let's see. What are we dealing with here? We got a chow. This is a special enemy chow. So let's go ahead and hit him with a poison gas, I think. See if we can't get some poison on the special enemy. Is really the priority there. We did. Okay, wonderful. And then... Oh, I forgot Gino has a new weapon, so I have to get used to a new timing. Gino is a good guy to have on our team, I guess. I was going to see if I should switch Gino out for someone, but I think not. I think we'll hold on for now. Okay, Bowser a little spooky scared. But we can take down the Chow really quickly. We should just finish things up. We got our frog coin for that. There we go. Obviously saving our frog coins for the frog store. We we're very interested in getting the uh, item that has FP used. Although I'm not sure how I would give it to. We'd figure it out though. All right, there we go. Ooh, Gino levels up in nine. Okay. I was looking and I'm like, we're no, we are nowhere near a level up. We are in fact semi near a level up. All right. So let's see if we can't just take down the Chow special enemy just by straight up attacking him. Yeah, okay. We're kind of whooping these guys. I don't need to use 10 FP to use a Terrorize every time. A lightning Orb. Gino does not seem like he would be affected by lightning very much because he's uh, made of wood. So I think he's made of wood. He's like a wooden doll, right? He's like Pinocchio. Speaking of Gino, he got his level up. I told you he was going to. Gino now level 13. He gets a quite a big HP boost. We're going to go ahead and give him... Uh, physical. I really just tend to standard attack with a lot of these guys, so I'm not too intrigued. Should I use my triple move? I'm going to use my triple move just because I have it. This is just absolutely overkill, but there's no point in leaving a meter charged at 100. So we're going to go ahead and use it. Rain down stars. I think we're fairly close to the end of the game, by the way, y'all, based on just how many, uh, stars we have five of seven you know is over halfway and so we're just gonna keep uh chugging along there we go and now we can press on so it looks like there's something floating behind us there that's interesting i wonder how we're gonna go about getting that let's actually see if we can investigate that further because you see you can see like the the box right it's just below us so we, we can drop down oh no is this a renewable source? Oh no, okay, they're they're normal enemies now. Okay, I was gonna say, is this a renewable source of like frog coins? But no, I don't think it is. Is no one seriously gonna be able to run from this fight? These are like baby enemies, please. It would be faster for me to defeat them than it is to run at this point. Run. Run. Thank heavens. Although they kind of trapped me in. Oh no, I, I snuck by. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure how we're going to get that floating box. Maybe we'll come back for it. All right, we got a lizard now. What is this guy? A Spinthra and a Gekit. All right. Spinthra and Gekit. Gekit, not Gekik. Whatever. All right, so let's go ahead and press forward. I almost didn't commentate for a second there. That would be, that would be bad of me to have some dead air. I almost just started singing along to the song. These enemies are pretty easy, though. They are new, of course, and we're working our way through Land's End. The reason why, by the way, was last video, Johnny, the uh, the Australian shark from the bottom of the ocean, saw... Oh, we got a bracer. What is a bracer? What is a bracer? Is that an item? It is. Raises allies' def defense in battle. This menu is wicked laggy. Like, it is so, has such bad FPS lag. Anyway, the reason why we are going to Land's End is because Johnny saw, a, like, an axe guy kind of fly over here while we were battling a different enemy. And so we think that someone from Smithy's gang is uh, terrorizing this area and perhaps has a star for us. 
And so we are going to chase him down uh, to the best of our abilities. And hopefully that'll succeed. Like I, unlike how I am not succeeding these bonus attacks. Okay, another gunk ball. What am I, what am I working with here? It's a Criffid. Kind of looks like an artichoke in my mind. Uh, we defeated it, thankfully. Get 34 uh, uh, XP and Peach leveled up from that. There we go. We got another Bracer. The game's just throwing Bracers at us. Peach, of course, will... She got come back. Revive a pal. If all goes well, it'll heal them, fu heal them fully. Okay, so we can res people now. Freaking Mercy res, like, uh, from Overwatch. Cool. Always nice to have Mercy on a, on a team. Okay, let's go ahead and hop onto the save block here. Save in the sunken ship. No, it spoils hot when I'm recording this. It's April 1st, by the way, and that's no joke. Oh, there, I just got stung by a bee. Bowser got stung by a bee. A Thornet. Actually, that was the name of the attack. The enemy is called a Stinger. Presumably because it is a bee with a stinger. Just my guess. Just a theory. Just a game theory. You know? How's game theory doing, by the way, y'all? I know game theory went through a bit of a host change, a very uh, significant change to the whole show because Matt Pat retired. But is that uh, is that going well for game theory? Did they lose views? I'm genuinely curious. Last time I heard of a channel switching a host like that was the King of Random. Uh, prior to Grant's passing, he kind of just retired. And um, I need to heal, by the way. So let me go ahead and use. Uh, I guess I'll just hit an HP rain on everyone. Yeah, prior to Grant's passing, he uh, he switched, he stopped being the host of his YouTube channel. And that kind of didn't, that went okay, and then it went terribly, and now it's just, it's bad. Anyway, all right, so we got some really high up blocks there. We've got an item back here, a hidden item, a flower tab. Very cool. Let's see, how are we going to go about approaching where we're approaching, though? It seems like I may be down the wrong path. I think perhaps I went down the path you go if you fail. And now we need to go down the path on which you succeed. Jump up here. Battle this freaking bee guy, I guess, a stinger. And there's also a, a flower with lips, which reminds me of the flowers from uh, Kingdom Hearts. Uh, Rechain of Memories, and a little bit of an older series I played. It was like two years ago, I think. Um, I did a, a playthrough of that Kingdom Hearts game, and the first area you really sink your teeth into is um, is Neverland. No, not Neverland. Wonderland. Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland. And gosh, was that area brutal because I did not understand the game. Welcome to the Sky Bridge. It's a big tourist attraction here. Yahoo! Okay. Want to challenge it? Sure. Okay, I need five coins from you. Need an explanation? Sure. You can cross the sky bridge in one of three ways. However, if you fall at any time, you'll lose. On the normal course, the blocks won't fall. You can jump to the next block by tilting L in the direction you're going, then pressing B. You'll get five coins for that. On the special course, jumping works the same as the normal course. But the blocks will fall if you stand on them too long. You'll get eight coins there. On the expert course, the blocks will fall and the jumps are harder. You've got a frog coin there. On all the courses, you have to jump to avoid the bullet guys. Um, I just will take the normal one. I just want to go to the other side. I don't really care about the coins or the frog coin. I just don't want to fall. Oh, hey, he lets me get back up instantly. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, there's a second him. All right. Um, yeah, can I just go across? Like, I don't really care about the money. Thanks. Can I just... Okay, I'll just go. I wonder if I need that little spot to jump upwards, though. Hold on, let me go back. I wonder if... Oh, wait. No, I'm fine. I don't care. But here I was thinking that was a required challenge. This is a mouse? Ah, you haven't been here in a while. I've been busy traveling around. Where are you headed? Is it Monster Town by any chance? Definitely. Okay, listen up. Look for a world where the ant pops in, and then proceed after it. Keep following it, and you'll find your way underground. Once there, Monster Town's just around the corner. I'll see you there. 
Thanks, Jiminy Cricket the Mouse. I appreciate it, little guy. Let's go ahead and save again in Land's End. Keep pressing forward. I thought that minigame was like for something, but it was it was it was nothing. So we're, we're we're looking after an ant, I guess. We gotta find where an ant goes under the ground and then follow after him. Was this not this is a shogun? Okay, my apologies. I thought this was a lowly ant. This is a freaking leader of Japan. So I apologize for the, the misconception. I feel bad that I just judged this ant. I thought he was an ant. He's the freaking Shogun. There's also three of them, which is a bit of a problem. My knowledge of Japan is very rudimentary, but I think the Shogun was like a samurai that took over the country. And he was, he went to the emperor and he was like, I'm the emperor now. And they were like, nah. Uh, the emperor stayed alive, but he was no longer like the leader. They kind of just kept him around. Okay, this is a ribite, which just seems strange. It looks like one of those guys from Donkey Kong Country. In Donkey Kong Country, there's like the the Crocs that like follow King K rule. They look like him a little bit, or like those little Croc guys. Oh, bye. He just left. No, get me out of the friggin' sand sandstorm. Okay, so this is. I follow after him. There we go. Okay, wonderful. All right, so it's like Simon says. There we are, and I gotta battle him now, I guess. Can I just terrorize the Shogun? Can I just make the Shogun scared? Hopefully. No, the Shogun are, are unscarable. Okay, um, let me switch you to Mallow then, because I think Mallow... Can Thunderbolt everyone? Let's see if these guys are weak to Thunderbolt at all. No, not really. If only there was a move I could use that would let me know what the enemies are weak or strong against. It's, that's Thought Peak, by the way. Uh, that works well enough, actually. Okay, I guess we'll keep Mal in battle for a little bit. Oh, Mario leveled up. I didn't even realize. All right, we got Ultra Jump. Very cool. We're going to go ahead and give myself... Magic. I gotta use more magic with, with Mario. Okay, hold on. So, where did the... He jumped out of this one, I think. So we'll follow after him. Okay. Now he's here. Let's battle him again. The Shogun. Um, You know, let me just standard attack this Shogun. I hate that they're the Shogun. That's just such like a goofy name. All right. Can I... Okay, so let me just fireball this Shogun. See if fireball does anything. Ooh, there we go. 134, not the best. I missed that. Mallow's freaking dead. Sorry, Mallow. Didn't mean for you to die. I really did my best to keep you alive, but it just wasn't enough. Get rid of this Shogun. Come on, he's got to be weak. Yeah, he's almost down. Almost down. Now he's down. Okay. He was the strongest one, but like... Doesn't mean these other guys are pushovers. They're still pretty strong themselves. There we go. I think I've gotten one game over in this Let's Play so far. Which isn't superb. I'd like to beat the game with none. Roll back to the last Let's Play I did. Let's play... Uh, uh, the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for the Nintendo Switch. Where if you get a game over, you don't get the good ending. My controller's low on battery. That was that noise you just heard. My controller's low on battery. And hey, Mallow got a level up. Okay. Good for Mallow. He got Snowy as a move to put a snowman on his post. Bowser leveled up as well. Good for you, Bowser. Take some HP. Okay. So he went through this one. Now we'll drop into this one. And he's in here. So let's see if I can't... Am I doing this right? He said to follow wherever the ant goes, and that'll lead you underground. So I, I'd like to think I'm doing this right. Did the did my conscience mouse tell me a lie? No, he wouldn't do that. He's my conscience. He's Jiminy Cricket. Jiminy Cricket doesn't tell lies because he's 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 your conscience. He tells you what to 
what to do, what the right thing is. He's a, he's a pal for life. Very good. No one should level up for a little while. Okay, and then I go in the hole because I just beat the guy. Okay, there we go. We're underground now. Huzzah. Thank heavens. Let's go ahead and save now here again. Still in Land's End. Let's see if we can make our way to Monster Town in today's video. Oh, good. We got a bit of a invincibility. We got our level up there as well. Let's take out another enemy. Take out all these guys as well. Two level ups. Not bad. Take out this guy and this guy and these guys. Almost got them all. Gino leveled up. Gino got Gino Blast, the beam that hits all foes. Let's go ahead and power up magic with that. Love an attack that hits everyone. Peach got a level up again as well. She's going to go for magic. Cool, just the two level ups. Okay, and we're going to drop down. I'm not going to fight those other guys. Just because I can't be bothered. Ooh, you know what would be good here? Is a freaking invincibility star. If I made it down there, I would have gotten them all. Okay, Balom Temple. 400 coins, the shortcut will get you back to the surface. Uh, permanently or not permanently? Is this permanent? Can I go to and from now? Hopefully. Yeah, do I have a... Wait, that's not good. How do I... Okay. Alright, hold on. Wait, okay. Did I just get scammed? I think I just got scammed. Here I was thinking he genuinely wanted to help. Uh, he did not. He wanted the worst for me. And now I'm a hundred coins poorer. And I'm have to re-enter Balom Temple. Remember when we fought Balom the first time. What is this? Coins. Is it a hundred coins? Balom, of course, was from like episode two. We fought him with Mallow. Do you want your fortune cold? It'll cost 50 coins. Sure. Why not? See the three faces on the wall? Hit him in any order and you'll receive your fortune. Thanks. How about... Uh, this one, that one, and then this one. What's my fortune? What is it? If you proceed through the pipe next door, some tasty snacks are awaiting you in the future. Okay, fine. I will. But only because I want to. What is this? What is my- there's a thought bubble. It's a guy. Formless? It's nothing. It's just a guy. I can't, I can't fight air. I gotta leave. I gotta, I can't run. I'm fighting air. I, I, help. I, what do I, it, he's formless. What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you? How do you, okay, Mallow. What am I looking at here, Mallow? I know the answer is nothing, but like, he's weak to fire and ice. Okay. He has 10 HP. He has a secret. Weak to fire and ice. Okay. Just defend. Mario, fireball him. There we go. Jeez, man. 430 damage. Okay. Duh. Haha. <laughs> Gas socks. Well, that's just swell. He's gas ox. Now what am I working with, Mallow? Now what kind of... Okay, static electricity. Eee, Mario's freaking dead. Okay, thought peak again. What am I working with now? How do I beat gas ox? Fire and ice, still. 580. Holy... Okay. Alright, so I need to switch Peach in. Peach needs to res Mario with a comeback. There we go. Great, Mario is rezzed now. Thank you. Okay, and I need Mario to... I guess take a... Honey Syrup for 10 FP. Okay. Great. And Mallow... Why don't you hit him with a... No, that's not good. Mallow, why don't you also take a Honey Syrup for 10 FP heal? Okay. And then... Bolt, Peach, I didn't even think about it. I'm going to drop a super fireball. Hopefully going to hit him for like a billion damage. 72 and that's weakness. Oh my gosh. Okay, group hug. 
for the party. There we go. Mallow, you're going to have to snowy him. Rotate L for more damage. There we go. What does that hit him for? A lot, hopefully, right? 98 in weakness. That's just not enough. Okay, we need a we need a big I think I'm going to have to drop a, a a royal syrup. Recover all FP. I think we need we need to we need all our FP back. All right. Peach. Uh let me switch you to Gino. Gino, you're going to boost what, what do I want to do? Gino boost, I guess, Mario. I don't think that's going to work in the way I want it to. Because it just does, it boosts his attack, not his magic attack. And then, Mal, you have to snowy again. There we go. That'll hit for another, like, 100. 160, that's actually pretty good. Gino, just defend. Mario, fireball. Smaller fireball, though. Let's see how much that does. 65 for weakness. Okay, Mallow, hit him with another Snowy. He's almost down. I feel like we got him in this turn. I should not have fought this guy, though, man. Holy, I should have just gone and gotten my food. Jeez, man. What do we get for fighting this guy? Not a thing. Not a thing. I'm going to use my flower tab to boost my FP up by one. Now let's go into this pipe. That was a crazy fight, y'all. I got a Yoshi cookie. And this looks familiar. Does this look familiar to y'all? Longtime viewers of the series recognize that sort of setup. That's how we, we fought Balom for the first time was was in a in the sewers but the setup was just like that got a frog coin thank you what do you want the yellow tile will get you to the next room your fortune determines which rooms you'll arrive at if you're lucky you'll run into balome and monster town will just be beyond him okay hmm i'm so hungry wish i had something to eat i feel like that's balome right if i'm lucky fingers crossed y'all here we go and now, down one more pipe to the lair of Balome. Hey, long time no see. Um, let me go ahead and quickly... Therapy... Everyone... Alright, let's go. Hey, dude. Good to see you again. Mmm, you look so tasty. I think I'll just have a snack. I'm gonna hide my face cam in case this gets me a nice... Cutscene that I can use for the thumbnail. It did not... Okay, so, first things first is Gino boost to Mario, because Mario has to stay in the battle, of course. And Mario will just standard attack Balome, hit him for 206, Mallow, hit him with a Thought Peak, please, and we'll adjust our strategy from there. Fear, Poison, and Mute. Okay, so Bowser would be useful here. He has 1,000 HP. I'm also happiest when I'm eating. All right, Light Bubble is going to pop on us not too good and they're freaking asleep well that's okay because i wanted to poison gas anyway featuring mr bowser hit him for a bit of extra damage there 72 with a weakness i think and i'm hitting for one okay honestly i'll switch out to peach but i'm not very concerned about this fight i never forget a taste in fact i've just one slurp i can clone someone Watch! You all look so delicious! But how do you taste? Yeah, clone peach. See, see what that does for you. Mmm, tastes peachy. Literally see what that does for you. There we are! Okay, oh, actually that's kind of bad because now you have a peach on your team. So let's see if we can't take down the peach. There we go. That's bad because peach can heal. Otherwise, not too big of a deal. Because this guy's taking some pretty massive damage from Mario. Gino boosted Mario. And... I mean, yeah, let's just bring a new party in, right? I don't even know if people are going to wake up, but Mario's basically got this on his own. Yeah, yeah, stop licking Mallow. 
This is yummy. He says, there we are. And he's going to duplicate on Mallow. Well, let me just smash the Mallow clone because I don't want my, my attacks used against me. Okay, that's fine. Oh, good. Mallow's awake now. Oh, and Peach is awake too. Oh no, not again. I'm starving. Time to go home for dinner. Goodbye, boys and girls. He's gone. Without a trace. But we won. And no one leveled up, but we're pretty close on a few people. And we click a button, and it opens the thing, and the water comes down, and that's what happened in the sewers. What's going to happen here? Oh, no water. Hello? Oh, hello again. That pipe is a shortcut to my home, Monster Town. I'll see you there. Oh my gosh, I just realized why I defaulted to Jiminy Cricket. Monstro's the whale from Pinocchio. That's why that happened. That's why I was like, what the heck is going on? That's why. Monstro Town. Like Monstro the Whale. It all makes sense. Anyway, this is Monstro Town, home of all the Monstros. I'm trying to find a save block so I can... Oh, Goomhilda. Yes, just a minute. I'll be there in a second. Oh, my! Goomhild, what are you doing here? Bowser, it's been ages, hasn't it? Sorry about going AWOL on you. I ran away because I was scared to fight Smithy. A lot has happened since then, but look how far I've come. I'm managing this store now. And look, here are my little ones. Come on, show your manners and greet Uncle Bowser. Hi, Uncle Bowser. Although I can't fight for you, I still have some items you can use. Maybe you'll find it in your heart to forgive me if I can help you get equipped. Don't worry. I'm not angry with you. I've got new minions now, and we're going to reclaim my castle. You go on with your life here. I wish you the best. What a kind guy, Bowser. Uh, where's the inn? This must be the inn. Can I just save the game? Oh my, a traveler from afar. Welcome to Monster Town, where many monsters mingle. I'm the landlady, Monster Mama. Looking for a star. A star, you say? Oh, you're here to see our star. She's upstairs, so feel free to go and take a look for yourself. Okay, I just gotta... I'm trying to end off the YouTube video, so I guess I'll just go elsewhere. I guess I'll just leave. I freaking can't. Please give me a save block. I'm trying to end off the video. This video is like half an hour long. I'm just trying to save the game. You know? Can you know, help a guy out? Thanks. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we just saved the game here in Monstro Town, and I'm gonna end the video off here. That's going to be all for now, though, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe. And tell your friends about my channel. If you think they would enjoy it, it means a lot to me when you guys spread my videos around. And I will catch you guys all back here next time for my next video. Until then, as always, take care.